Part 1. Introduction to Negative Numbers. You will find this on page 24 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Introduction to Negative Numbers. When you first learned your numbers in primary school, you started with the counting numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Your number line looked something like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. Later on, you learned about fractions and decimals, such as a half. A half will be between 0 and 1, exactly in the middle. And 3.4. 3.4 will be between 3 and 4, and a little bit more to 3. And other types of numbers. Your number line started looking like this. These numbers are greater than 0 and are also known as positive numbers. However, in the real world, we do encounter negative numbers. For example, a low temperature recorded in Namibia of 2 degrees Celsius below 0 degrees Celsius is represented by negative 2 degrees Celsius. The negative number negative 2 is read as negative 2. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, but the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 are called positive integers. And the numbers negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 and so forth are called negative integers. The collection of numbers negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 is called a set of integers. The number line can be used to represent integers. This is shown below. Now, there is 0. So, just as I go to the positive numbers, I do exactly the same to the negative side. I just put a negative in front of the numbers. Take note that 3 and negative 3 is called additive inverse. So negative 2 and 2 will also be called additive inverse. Now, can you see that we go to this side to the negative numbers and to this side we go to the positive numbers? Note that the integer 0 is neutral. It is neither positive nor negative. The numbers such as 3 quarters and 0, 0,6 are called positive numbers, while those numbers with a negative sign such as negative 2 over 5 and negative 2.38 are called negative numbers. Positive and negative numbers are also known as directed numbers because they indicate a definite direction on the number line. We are going to look at an example. Let's look at example one. Mount Whitney is about 4,418 meters above sea level and the altitude of depth value is about 86 meters below sea level. Represent their altitudes using positive and negative numbers. Now, if it's above sea level, that will indicate positive. So, Mount Whitney will be positive 4418. Just take note, if it's a positive, we do not have to indicate the positive. So if there stands nothing, it's actually meaning it's a positive. The altitude of D value is below sea level, and that's why we put a small negative in front of it. Okay, I want you to quickly do try now one. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Let's start. A company suffers a loss of 10,000 in the year 2012 and made a profit of, let's just highlight, it made a loss of 10,000 and it made a profit of 20, 25,000 in the year 2013. Represent the loss and the profit using positive and negative numbers. Now, Let's look at the first one. If I say a loss of $10,000, it's 
In terms of positive and negative numbers, I can represent it as negative, and I can just put in front the 10,000. And if I say a profit of 25,000, I can represent it either as positive, it's not a problem if you write down the positive, or you can just represent it without a positive, and if there stands nothing, it's actually meaning it's positive 25,000.